Hi everyone, this is Arfin, and today we are going to calculate Sortino ratio by using Python. So let's start. First, we are going to import libraries. So pandas as pd, import numpy as np, import pandas underscore data reader as web. Let's run this. So we are going to download data, web.datareader. Let's do it for Apple. Data source is equal to Yahoo. Start date 1-1-2020. One dash one dash and 12-31-2020. Of course, we are going to use adjusted closing price. Let's run this. Okay, so let's check the data. Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to calculate our daily return series, which will be data daily, sorry daily return so it will be apple dot percentage change okay let's check again great so now we need to calculate return. So I'm going to calculate by using chain link method. So all I'm going to do is return underscore apple is equal to data dot daily return plus one under bracket. So it will be the product of daily return plus one. So product numpy dot product under bracket minus one. So let's check. Great. Now, so in order to calculate certain ratio, what we need to uh, calculate, or I mean the uh, variables required for the calculation of ratio is, so first we need to check the formula, Sortino ratio is equal to return minus minimum acceptable return divided by downside deviation. Okay, so minimum acceptable return can be risk-free rate or any number uh, which you want or whatever your management have decided. Let's say 5% is your minimum acceptable return, 1%, 2%, whatever. Okay, so we need to calculate here downside deviation. So which will be basically a negative daily return. Uh, so we need to filter it out from the data. So data of daily return less than zero. Okay, so here we are getting it in true and false. In order to get the number, what we will do, we will filter it from the data series itself and then let's see. Okay, here we have the series. Now, if you notice, it giving us all three columns, which is date, price, and daily return, but we are only interested in this one. So what we will do, in fact, I will run it for you and I will show you. So we need to assign it in a new column, let's say DD. Okay, so let me save it there. 
Perfect. So it's giving me an error. What's the error? What I did, I'm just assigning a written, uh, written series, which is less than zero in one column, which is DD, downside deviation. And here is the value error. What's it saying that wrong number of items passed to placement implies one. So I'm just assigning in one column while the data series is three. So what I'm going to do here is, it's very simple. What I want, basically I want a daily return series. So let's run this. Perfect, let's check the data head. Okay, so we have one, this is greater than zero. So it will be NAN, which is not a number. Now, let me calculate DD of Apple. It will be data dot DD dot STD. Okay, so DD of Apple 21. So this is the daily return. All I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it with or annualize it basically. So I'm going to multiply it with NP dot SQRT of 252 days. So let's run this and then 34%. Great. So now Sortino ratio will be, we already have return of Apple minus let's say 2% divided by DD of Apple. So let's run this Sortino ratio is equal to 2.21 or 2.22. So similarly, uh, if we are going, to, if we need to calculate uh, Sortino ratio for more than one stock, what we will do, we will increase the number of variable, let's say FB, and then we will perform the same task here. What we have done, daily return of Facebook, return of Facebook, downside deviation of Facebook, and downside deviation, yeah, downside deviation of Facebook, and then we can analyze it uh, here, and then we can calculate sorting of Apple and sorting of Facebook in a similar way. If you have any problem, if you have any question, just feel free to ask and hope it will be helpful for you. In the next video, we are going to uh, automate this calculation by using user defined function. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe my channel if you really like this video. Thanks.